Whether new shooter, longtime gun owner, or even police officer or soldier, your handgun needs a Crimson Trace laser sight or light. Get the confidence and reliability you need to protect family, home, and country. Crimson Trace. From the SHOT Show in Las Vegas, you're listening to Gun Talk, coming to you direct from the Crimson Trace booth on the trade show floor. Here's Tom. Yes, we are. We are at the SHOT Show 2016, Las Vegas, Nevada, in the Crimson Trace booth, visiting with, uh, well, actually, the company that actually partners a lot with Crimson Trace, Ruger Firearms. Mike Pfeiffer, CEO of Ruger, has joined us right now. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day. Thanks for having me, and thanks for having a really comfortable seat. <laughs> it is fun to get off your feet down there, isn't it? Because there's a lot of standing at this show. And your booth is packed. Everybody wants to see the new things. In fact, honestly, one of the things they want to see is, is this a unicorn? Is this a mythical thing? Because I've heard of a, a rifle you make, but I've never seen this thing. It's the precision rifle. <laughs> it is probably the hardest gun to find in America today. And it's just because it's such a great product, and it's so affordable. It takes a category of long-range precision shooting that typically entry is five to 7000 bucks for the gun before you put a scope on it, right? we bring it right down to $1,000. It's nuts. Well, I mean, people say, well, why don't you just make more? <laughs> like we're, that didn't trying. occur to you, right? <laughs> we're trying. We're making as many as we can. There's uh, six days a week. The boys are cranking hard on it. And uh, it's just uh, it, a, it, it's an amazing rifle. I yeah. mean, for those who don't know, it's got the, uh, the fully adjustable stock. It is... At its core, though, what it really is is unbelievably accurate. It is. Even I could hit a one a sixteen inch plate at sixteen hundred yards. I've never done that before. Now, how much fun is that? That is cool. Okay, so it's the Ruger Precision Rifle, and so what are we looking at? Are we going to be able to crank up some more, you know, volume in this thing? How are people going to be able to get this in two thousand sixteen? I think so. We put a lot of money into it, um, a lot of extra employees. People mm-hmm. are working hard on it, and um, eventually it'll ease up just a little bit. Yeah. I mean, you know, just the thing is, I guess, get your order in with your dealer and then just be patient. Right. And then when you get it, join our online competition to shoot it. Really? Shoot your best targets at whatever range you want. We've uh-huh. got them every 100 yards all the way out. And for your caliber and post it on the score... I'm on there uh, for 1,600 yards. I might have even had a really tight 100-yard um, group uh-huh. and knocked me off the list. Oh, okay. That sounds like fun. And that's at the Ruger website? Right. Okay. Very cool. All right. Moving along here. We've got, I just got this in. I just got it at the house. I, When I took it out of the box, the new Ruger American pistol, picked it up, put it in my hands, and the first thing I said was, I would carry this pistol. It feels really good. It feels great. What did you do? It's probably um, the most sophisticated pistol we've made. We started with the Army modular handgun system as a specification and went from there. And it it fits. We've got different grips you can put on it. It'll fit anywhere from the 5th percentile woman to the 95th percentile man. Hmm. Okay. And Uh, then it's got a a specially designed recoil-reducing cam on the barrel. And it slows down the recoil, which makes it feel like much less recoil when you shoot it. out over time. You got it. Wow. Okay. So it feels good in your hand when you just hold it, and then it feels good when you shoot it, and it reduces the recoil. It's a very thin grip, but it's still a full double stack. It is. It's, if I remember right, 17 plus 1? I think that's about right. I think 17 it is. plus 1. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's this is a serious gun. It really is. And it's... And it feels good in the gun store, too, because if they'll let you dry fire, which hopefully they will, right. it's got an incredibly short, crisp trigger and a really noticeable um, reset. You're going to huh. like it. Okay. In 9 now? 9.45? Well, we've got to start somewhere. The long-term plan is all the major all calibers sure. in, in both uh, full-size and uh, compact, and oh, then yeah. in both a uh, pro or duty model and then a safety model. Okay. But you got to start somewhere, so we started with 9 and 45 in the Pro. Right. Okay, good deal. That I mean, it's a really nice pistol. Now, the first thing, it's funny, when you sat down before we came on, you said the exact same thing I said about your next product. Because I said, when Ruger brings out a silencer, silencers have gone mainstream. 
What made you guys decide to bring out a silencer? Well, they're a lot of fun. More and more states are allowing them. More and more states are allowing them for hunting. And one of the most important things all of us can do is bring new shooters into the sport. Mm -hmm. And often new shooters are apprehensive about recoil and noise. Right. So our recommendation is always start them with 22. They'll know when they're ready for a bigger caliber. Right. And if you can put a sound suppressor on there, too, they won't have any noise. They're just going to have fun. And I watch people, the flinch goes away, the concern goes away. They go, wow, this is really fun. Yes, that's what we're talking about. It should be fun. So Ruger has, the, your first one here is a silencer for 22 rimfire. And, of course, you're threading a lot of barrels now, too. So, and we're making about a million rimfire guns a year. Holy cow. That is incredible. So when, I mean, and I mean, all the, obviously all the rules still apply on silencers. You got to, you know, do the, you know, NFA rules, but that's getting to be pretty easy because most of the dealers who do this will help you through the process. They make it easy for you. And things have actually um, are heading in the direction of getting easier. There's a small technical detail about the chief law enforcement officer um, no longer has to sign off. All they have to do is just be notified. Right. And they only get involved if they have a concern. So right. now it's e it's gotten easier. It's even streamlined more. So we're mainstream and streamlining. Now, I want us, and before we came on, you said, look, let's please talk about this because it is, to me, it's the most important subject for this year, and that is this upcoming election and the role of the NRA, specifically the ILA. The, their Institute for Legislative Action, that's the group within NRA who's allowed to spend money to um, do uh, voter education, to do uh, bring out the vote right. kind of stuff, or to come flat right out and say, between two candidates in this state, here's an A-plus candidate and here's a D-minus candidate. Right. We recommend you vote for the A-plus. And what we learned from the 14 elections is that the money that the ILA spends in, in selected um, election campaigns really makes a difference. Mm -hmm. They can really turn out the vote and educate people, and we can win elections. And now we've got the most dangerous election. What happens now, you know, if Miss Hillary or Bernie wins, mm -hmm. we're going to set back firearms rights for at least the next 50 years, I mean, and maybe much, much longer, right. because the risk isn't a short-term ban or something like that. The risk is new Supreme Court judges and federal judges, yes. and they can change the laws. Miss Hillary's come out and said that the Supreme Court got it wrong. Exactly. And I think she couldn't be more wrong. And they're not pretending like they haven't passed elections. They've come right out. They've taken right. their stand. They're, so, out, they're out in the open. And, and she says, you know, we should remove the restrictions on suing gun makers for the misdeeds of third-party people. So if you sell a gun and 20 years later somebody uses it in a crime or misuses it, somehow you should be, uh, the gun company should be held responsible. She wants to go back to those days when, for those who don't remember, the goal was let's file as many lawsuits as possible and drive the gun business out of business. So what can we do? Ruger's leading the charge here with we're donating $2 a gun. We've also got an NRA special gun. To, to the NRA. To the NRA ILA. Right. Um, we've also got some other fundraising, fundraising mechanisms. We're trying to get our distributors to match us. I'm hoping to contribute this year just from Ruger at least $4 million to the ILA and hopefully a lot more from our partners in the industry. And I would really encourage all of your listeners Get out there and make a contribution, whether it's one dollars, two dollars. If you can do ten, if you buy a gun, heck, even if it's a Smith and Wesson, oh my get heavens! Some money. Look at this. All right, so Ruger is saying, doesn't matter what kind of gun you buy, whose name is on it, make a donation to NRA ILA, please. Well, it's really, you know what? The donation is for the future of firearms ownership. It's, and that's not overstating the case at this point. No, it's absolutely critical. This is one presidential election. We must win, or we're yeah. going to lose our rights. And it's going to take dollars. It's also going to take boots on the ground. People are going to have to volunteer. They're going to have to go door to door. They're going to have to put signs in their yards. They're going to have to get involved. And people say, oh, yeah, well, politics, I don't No, No, you don't get to stand on the sideline anymore. This year, you have to stand up and be counted. Absolutely. Mike, thank you so much for everything that Ruger's doing, that you're doing. Appreciate it. And we're going to have you back on when we got a little bit more time and we can talk about this election, what we can all do on that, all right? All right. Very good. Thanks, Tom. All right. We'll be right back with more Gun Talk.
It's time for the Brownells trivia question. Brownells, serious about firearms since 1939. Are you a gun know-it-all? Well, you may have a chance to win the Brownell Gun Talk, FN SCAR 17S Dream Gun, and a trip to the NRA show in Louisville, Kentucky, May 19th through the 22nd. Here we go. Timothy Murphy lived from 1751 until 1818. He is most famous for what feat involving a rifle? He designed the first Pennsylvania rifle. He shot two British senior officers at long range, helping the Continental Army win the Battle of Saratoga. He invented a breech-loading rifle used by the British Army during the Revolution. To answer and have a chance to win, go to brownells.com slash guntalk. That's brownells.com slash guntalk. When it comes to firearms, Brownells has more, knows more, and does more. And guarantees it all forever. Brownells is serious about firearms. If you're looking for a safe and trusted way to sell your firearms, look no further than Dury's Gun Shop. I trusted them to sell my dad's collection. They built their business for over 50 years on honesty and customer service. Dury's Guns will buy any size collection or estate, none too big or too small. Selling your firearms to Dury's Guns is easy. Go with the pros. I trust Dury's Guns. Dury'sGuns.com The world can be a dangerous place. Gear up with the industry's original and most trusted laser sighting system from Crimson Trace. Equipping your firearm with laser and light systems will enhance your effectiveness and help keep you and your family out of harm's way. Call 800-442-2406 or visit crimsontrace.com and receive a free copy of our new laser training video, The Laser's Edge, Crimson Trace. You're at a gun store, and your phone tells you about hot deals. Want to know about special offers? No problem when you have Gun Dealio, the free app for your smartphone. Gun Dealio delivers the latest deals on guns, ammo, and extras direct to your phone. Don't overpay for your shooting gear. Get Gun Dealio. It's free at the App Store and Google Play. Trigger the deals with Gun Dealio. Gundealio.com. Hi, this is Sarah. A silencer is today's most popular firearm accessory because it makes shooting sports more enjoyable. You're able to wear little or no hearing protection, and it decreases recoil, offering greater shooting accuracy. It's perfect for hunters and those who want more social interaction during shooting sports. So why are you waiting? Silencershop.com is easier and faster than buying one off the shelf because they handle all the details, and they have the largest selection of top brands. Visit silencershop.com to find a silencer for your firearm. All right, back with you. Shot Show 2016. We're in the Crimson Trace booth. We're visiting with everybody because people make so many interesting products and so many interesting services here. And you can you can buy, or you can't actually buy your stuff here, but you can see everything here. One of the products that we're talking about right now is Cerakote. You probably know the name Cerakote because some guns actually manufacturers incorporate that into their products, but also you can get it done aftermarket to your product. Brian, you're joining us here. Brian Hall from Cerakote. We were just out at your place. We got to see the whole process. It is so cool what you guys do. How did this come about? Oh, it's a, it, it's quite a story, but uh, we have a great group of people. Uh, Serico, we manufacture in Oregon, uh, the entire process. Um, that's where it's manufactured, and we distribute it all over the world. So uh, long story, but we have some really uh, great chemists, and we've got some uh, good people that put this you together. you got, like, little scientists in the back room. You kind of, like, slide pizza under the door, and they do yeah. things and stuff. <laughs> at, at heart, we are a coatings manufacturer. We make other types of coatings. Not just we, for the gun biz. Right, but we do happen to make the best finish for firearms, and, and that's why we're here. So it's great to be here. you got, of course... Incredible colors. When you go to the website, uh, the Cerakote website, how many different images and examples of this do you have there? We just launched a brand new gallery uh, at our website, Cerakote.com, and uh, that's C-E-R-A-K-O-T-E.com. K-O-T-E. Yeah, yeah. People always wonder how to spell it. Right. Uh, we've got over 30,000 images, and uh, it's it's incredible. 30,000 guns and doodads and... I mean, it could be knives, it could be Yeti cups, it could be, but a lot of it's guns. And all, all types of things. Yeah, mostly mostly guns and, and related items. Um, right. And all these images are supplied to us by our local certified applicators, which makes it even neater because you're seeing the work 
that our certified partners are doing around the world. Well, and that's a good point. We got to get to that because you don't send your gun to Cerakote in Oregon. You send or take your gun to a certified Cerakote applicator. In, and there are they're all over the country. I mean, when you go on the website, you put in your zip code, you go, wow, there's one like right here. I didn't even know it was close to me. Right. One thing a lot of people don't realize is this is a very local business. We're the manufacturer. We manufacture it. We do all the R&D, the testing, the marketing. Um, but when you go on the website and you find uh, something that you want, and mm-hmm. you're right, you, you go to the map, you put in your zip code, um, you find that there's a local certified partner. We have over 400 just in the U.S. Mm-hmm. And uh, these are companies that have been through our entire training process at our facility. Um, so they are, they're very competent and certified to do this process. So you don't have to go to your local if you want, if you see somebody that in another part of the country and you go, I love what that guy or that gal is doing because there are people who are truly graphic artists, right? I mean, That's that would be correct. a good way to put it. That's They're correct. graphic artists with Cerakote doing these incredible decoration jobs. And, of course, you get the protection and all that, too. The, the thing I love about uh, all of our partners is they continue to raise the ante. Uh, some of the work that these facilities put out, it, it surprises me on a daily basis. So there are some companies that specialize in really uh, specific types of patterns right. or work, and, and they do specialize in having people ship in their parts and their guns. So that, that's absolutely uh, something that's out there. Yeah, There's Some really neat stuff. Now, Cerakote is not just colors or decorations. You're actually getting protection and improved performance. Right. At, at the heart, again, we're a coatings manufacturer. The reason that you coat uh, steel is for corrosion. So it, it, this is performance first, and uh, there's nothing else uh, even close to Cerakote when it comes to corrosion protection. We are definitely the industry leader, and, and we continue to improve on our, our products. But you coat a firearm for corrosion protection. After that, uh, you know, chemical resistance, scratch resistance, and, and yes, you can get the performance and make it look great at the same time. Well, they, they say that the a gun's greatest enemies are rust and politicians. Yeah. So you can't do anything about the politicians. We we, <laughs> we actually uh, were thinking about making a T-shirt that said, we'll take care of the rust. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. You know, one of the things I liked about being out there is that uh, your people are into it. Yes. I, I'm just trying to think of how to say it, but that's really it. They are really into the quality, the process. And so when someone becomes an applicator, a certified applicator, they have to go out there and go to school. Right. And right. learn how to do this the right way because you have – it's this is not just like spraying on a can of Krylon, people. No. This is a real process of baking and treatment and cleaning and, you know, it, there's a lot to this. Yeah, and, and that is important to bring up that this is not a do-it-yourself product. And there are – products out there for for that but this is a very professional product Um, so when they do come out we go through uh, degreasing we go through metal prep that's all very important through profiling Mm -hmm. through uh, application curing and and at the end of the day these firearms uh, this is a factory finish uh, and these firearms have to function and they have to perform perfectly and so when they come out there the training is it it is very serious it's very in-depth it's one-on-one and so, you know, people should know that these certified applicators that they're going to are very well trained. And you're right, our employees uh, are excellent. We have a great group of people. I think you saw that when you were out there. They were impressive. Yeah. If somebody had a gun store, they say, you know, this might be something we want to get into. That's something they could do. They could contact you guys and find out what's involved in this. We, correct. So we have two primary uh, parts of our business. One is OEM. So we work with, with uh, you know, the vast majority of manufacturers that do offer Cerakote on models that they sell, and a lot you see here at the show. Right. Um, the other part of our business, which is also very important, is certified refinish. So someone that is a gunsmith or a gun store um, looks at Cerakote and says, hey, this is something that complements my existing business. Mm-hmm. And the important part of this is, is a local business. So this is not something that gets outsourced online. Right. And so that individual is looking to bring new traffic into their business and offer a service. People are very hungry for Cerakote right well, now. Well, and a store could say, look, we're going to actually take guns that we get from a manufacturer, and we're going to go ahead and Cerakote them in our own special finish 
or design or something we do here, and we're going to offer those for sale. And I'm just thinking for a, a business owner, a gun store owner, is thinking, okay, this is the way that we can separate ourselves from other businesses. Right. And, and, and that does combat some of the online competition that the local businesses face, and that's called Cerakote and Sell. Um, so what a lot of these local uh, gun stores do is they do Cerakote new new firearms right. and sell those. And those are unique and custom to that customer. Um, it, it's a great service. It, it's pretty slick. And just the very idea of protecting your gun and making it look really uber cool. And I, I can't stress enough, we can't show the pictures here on the radio. People have to go to the website and look at the gallery start clicking when you do, you want to make sure you've got about at least 30 minutes available time because once you start, it's like potato chips. You can't stop. It, it, it's addicting, and even I, I find myself getting lost in there because every day there's new pictures from our certified applicators. Um, I, like I said, there's over 30,000 images, so there's something for everyone. There's some very simple things, and then there's some very elaborate things. Yeah, if you like flames, great. If you like you know, cryptic camo, great. We got that. If you want school colors, we got that. I mean, whatever you want. It's probably there. It, it is, yep. All right, the website is Cerakote, and it's C-E-R-A-K-O-T-E, Cerakote.com. Yes, right? you got it. Okay. It's protection of the steam, protection of the metal. I um, can't remember. Did we talk about the fact that actually it adds, I don't know if it adds lubricity to it, but it actually, you know, it, it, it doesn't gum things up. People say, well, how much coating is it? Is it like, is it going to cause my gun to not work? That's right. not an issue. We've, we've got some great videos on our website, uh, some great test videos, because people want to know, what is this? And this is a, a true ceramic polymer hybrid coating. Hey. And so they can see it's very thin. We're talking about a thousandth of thickness. It is very wear resistant, very chemical resistant. Um, seeing is believing. And that's why we have these great test right. videos just, on our website. Just go on the website and check out the videos. Check it out. Yeah. It's all there. Ryan, thank you for being here, man. And I really enjoyed our trip out there to Medford. That was great. It was great having you in Oregon. That was that was so much fun. Yeah. All right. Now, don't go anywhere because we got more people coming up. We're going to be talking about not just guns, not just coatings. We're also going to be talking about ammo. You know what? you got to feed your gun, man. It's, it's, that's what it's all about. So I always say, you know, you cannot have too much ammo. Buy now, buy later, buy high, buy low. It's kind of like stocks. You just got to keep doing it. I'm Tom Gresham. We're at the SHOT Show in Las Vegas. We'll be right back. The Crimson Trace mission is to enhance people's ability to protect family, home, and country. Here's more gun talk with Tom Gresham. Yes, indeed. It's guns. It's lasers. It's everything. But at the heart of it, they really don't do you any good if you don't feed them. And for that, you got to have ammo. And now we have folks from Aguila have just joined us. Rod and Christy, thanks, guys, for being here. Thanks for having thanks us. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. So, all right, first off, people go, yeah, that's uh, Aguila, Aguila, Agula. How do you say it? Aguila. Aguila. Aguila Ammunition. Aguila Ammunition. All right. Um, this is not a new company, right? No, we've been around since 1961. Uh, we're in the old Remington plant in Cuernavaca, Morales, Mexico. Which is a cool place. Yeah, been to Cuernavaca, cool so that is a very cool place. Been making ammo for a long time. Very long time. Okay. So, Rod, Good. talk about, if you would, the, the different categories of ammo you guys are into. We're pretty much across all the the sporting and the uh, civil defense rounds. But shot shell, mm-hmm. we have a combination of standard shot shell and lead and various varieties of shot size, buckshot, slugs. We also make mini shells, which are becoming very popular in the United States. Those are so cool. They are. And when you have the right platform for it, you can put a lot of shells in the magazine. And there are now, a lot I of mean, how long are the mini shells? Inch and three quarter. Inch and three quarter. Right. And, but you still got a pretty good payload in those. We have a good payload. It runs seven eighths, three quarter, seven eighths of an ounce, depending on what it is. Right. And it comes out of the barrel somewhere between 1150 and 1200 feet per second, which is. Very yeah. close to a standard shot Nothing shell. to sneeze at. No. But because they're so short, you can get a whole bunch of them into a magazine. Yes, you now, can. they probably won't operate a semi-auto, will they? Well, the feed mechanism on a pump and a semi-auto is what restricts their operation. It depends on the weapon. Okay. But uh, generally, 
we're trying to work into going with a platform that will be specifically for that particular product and oh. adaptations of existing platforms that are simple to do and don't require a lot of operation. We we found that there's a lot of application for training, hmm. for youth training, that type sure. of thing. When yeah. we had our Aguila Cup in uh, Cuernavaca last, late last year, mm-hmm. we ran a five-stand using just the mini shells. Everybody was shooting their super pose. Right. The people... You know, Sherry Legate, some of the other professional shooters, loved it because it had almost no recoil. So your second shot, you didn't have to reset for it. It was just right. Bang, you bang just keep swinging. It's, yeah. it's there. But it's a very comfortable to shoot. It performs very well, especially in a relatively close range and fly stand. Uh, it really is a great training round too. We Absolutely. haven't pushed that. We just we thought about it when we were doing a competition. And yeah. it was a fun competition. It was not for any prize. We just sure. had anybody that wanted to shoot came out. Right, and shot just come and try it. Yeah, but. They, and I know you probably you probably hate it when people say this, but those little shells are just cute. I mean, they are. They're just little bitty twelve gauge shotgun shells. You go, that are. is so neat. You know, and you think, yeah, I gotta shoot that because you know it's not gonna kick. It's not gonna be any recoil. You know, but the fact that they work. Okay, rimfire. You guys are huge in rimfire. We are. We are here. Do the George W. Bush. We are huge, and we're getting huger. <laughs> we uh, we've always had a very wide rim fire product line, mm-hmm. and everything from the Calibri, the Hummingbird, which is a very low velocity, very light projectile hmm. that is rifle and revolver type. It's the first time I heard it shot. I didn't think it was a, a cartridge. I thought it was a firing pin snap. Holy I was standing cow. next to the rifle when it went off. And That's was, without a silencer? No, it's just as is. It comes out less than 500 feet per second. But wow. the charge on that is purely the primer mix. There's no propellant okay. in it. Okay. And we do a Super Calibri, which has more primer mix for a higher velocity. Right. But both of them are fantastic, and we go all the way up to our high velocities. 22 Winchester Magnum, which we produce a lot of. Really? And it's really in demand now. Uh, and everything in between, long rifle short. We have the Sniper Subsonic, which is a 60-grain 22 rimfire. Son Bullet. of a gun. Yeah. And, of course, with the uh, rapid increase in enthusiasm for silencers, when you have subsonic load like that, that would be terrific. Yes. Wow. And it's it's a big product for us, a market, but we do rimfire everything in very, very large volumes. And hmm. we're expanding... Our goal has been, uh, since we came in two years ago, we started a program to expand our volume about 30% each year. Right. So 2015, we were taking delivery of our expansion equipment. I'm going to Europe week after next to do the testing acceptance on some machinery, and then there's more in the middle of the year. Right. We are gearing up to make another major acquisition in that product line of machinery, production Mm. machinery. And uh, it's very, very good product for us, product line. It's very broad and it's widely known in the United States and outside the United States as well. We do a great business in Mexico, Central America, and some in Europe as well. Christy, what's the availability of Aguila ammo in the U.S.? Is it pretty much everywhere now? Uh, right now you'll find us in uh, Academy, uh, Worth Midway, USA, Brownells. Uh, we have 12 to 14 distributors that we work with right now, and that number is growing. So you can find us coast to coast. Okay. And we haven't even touched on the centerfire. I mean, you guys are, you know, you're a serious centerfire ammo company also. We're right. we're heavily into the, the pistol calibers right. and into the rifle calibers, and that's our area of expansion right now. So we're uh-huh. looking to get into a much wider range of calibers in the rifle. And our shot shell business, as we touched on, is also one of the things we're really starting to push in the United States. It never was really pushed here. We did a lot of business in Central and South America and Mexico. Almost every international competition, world competitions in Mexico are shot with our ammunition, and we oh. have several perfect scores through skeet trap and everything else. Oh, wow. So. That, that's, so now you guys, Christy, you're located in the Texas office for this. Right. right? We're just north of Houston in Conroe, Texas. Okay. So for those who say Aguila don't know that company, I guess the takeaway would be this is a major international ammunition co- company that they may have heard of, may not have, but ma- starting to really make a major impact in the U.S. Exactly. And they're going to hear a lot about us throughout the next year. And that's some we're growing. We're investing a lot of marketing dollars to make sure people know who we are and know where to find us. Uh, we have a brand new website that just launched two weeks ago, um, agulaammo.com. And Spell we, it, please. A-G-U-I-L-A-A-M-M-O.com. Okay. A-G-U-I-L-A-1-L. 
1A ammo.com. AguilaAmmo.com. You can go there. You can find out all the stuff you guys are making. Right. We have a dealer locator. All of our products are on there. Get all the answers. And they can also check us out on all the social media channels. We just launched all of our pages. There you go. Where, here too. Uh, wherever it is, you're there because exactly. I see you're posting like crazy. So I know. You've got a lot, lot of stuff to talk about. We're going to have you on again when we have more time because you have a whole lot more than we have not even gotten into here. Okay? Great. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Thank All you. All right. We'll be right back from the SHOT Show in Las Vegas. What makes a legacy? Is it quality? Craftsmanship. Maybe it's the idea that every American deserves their right to security and peace of mind on and off the battlefield. What makes a legacy? Here at Colt, we're making it every day. Colt. Built one at a time. Proven. Every round. No matter what gun you have, you want it to hit harder, shoot faster and flatter, and be more accurate. You get all that with the ammunition from Double Tap. Double Tap's experts select the best bullets, then load them to higher velocities while keeping safe pressures. Shoot small groups, shoot farther. Use custom hunting loads in your handgun or rifle. Even fire two projectiles with one shot. DoubleTapAmmo.com. That's DoubleTapAmmo.com. The 45 Auto, also known as the 1911, is the standard other defensive pistols are measured against. No matter what pistol you carry, techniques developed around the 1911 are vital. You know you need training. And you know your concealed carry class definitely was not training. Now Gun Talk presents an exciting DVD, Fighting with the 1911 with Tiger McKee. Tiger's unique training style will have you drawing, moving, shooting, and running your gun better, no matter what style pistol you prefer. At ShopGunTalk.com, you can order our DVDs of Tiger's instruction. ShopGunTalk.com also has a two-DVD set, including Concealed Carry One. Get both for the information you know you need. This really is life and death. ShopGunTalk.com has DVDs, books, and other essential gear. ShopGunTalk.com. That's ShopGunTalk.com. The XDM 3.8 Compact from Springfield Armory is two guns in one. Use as your concealed carry gun with a compact magazine and use the extended magazine for home defense. Carry 13 rounds of 9mm in the compact magazine and a whopping 19 rounds in the extended magazine. To see the entire family of Springfield Armory XDM pistols, go to SpringfieldArmory.com. That's SpringfieldArmory.com. back with you here tom gresham it's gun talk at the shot show shot show 2016 joining me right now is bill brassard from the national shooting sports foundation the nssf is the organization that puts on the shot show this thing is going so well it is i mean it's huge how big is it how big is it? Well, it is the largest trade show of its kind in the world, devoted to shooting, hunting, and outdoor products. We are looking at probably a record attendance. We don't have final figures yet, but I expect uh, we'll see upwards of 65,000 trade professionals who are attending this show. Uh, we've got about 1,600 uh, exhibiting companies right. that uh, take up about 13 acres of, of booth space. So Crazy. Uh, it's like you wear your comfortable shoes because we got about 12 miles. Of, I, look, look at you all got, my feet you, now. You know. I, I switched out of my dress shoes from wearing my suit. And I, I got on the slip-on loafers today, man. I'm going that, comfortable. That's right. And I'll tell you, the, the vibe is really positive. And I think that actually started out at a really cool event. On the day before SHOT Show, mm-hmm. out at Industry Day at the range where the media and the buyers can go out to the, the local shooting range and they can test the product that they'll you know, see on the show floor. Here. Right. We get to shoot the stuff and have fun with it. That's know? right. That's right. So we had about 1,700 people out at the range, and uh, and every report was was great, was glowing. Yeah. I mean, it was terrific. So much fun out there. Um, the piece I wrote for the Washington Times, I, I called this the biggest gun show where you can't buy a gun. Yeah. People... 
still probably get confused about that. Well, and some are confused uh, because they just don't know, and others want to sow confusion on purpose. And, well, there's that, right? Yeah, there really is. Um, but it, you know, they d- deliberately call it a gun show, and and but no product. It's actually, not really a gun. It show. really is. It's isn't. a trade show. It's a for trade the show. Industry, yes. No guns physically change hands here. Right. That's, you know, the retailers people take orders. They take orders. That's, that's, that's what happens here. That's it. Yeah. So, it, but it's and. What's interesting about it is the way it has evolved over the years, because in the years past, way back, uh, there was no law enforcement. There was none of that here. And that's become probably the, the big growth sector. Uh, clearly, it's uh, those are the products, as we know, that are driving the market, um, the, the AR-style rifles and the tactical gear, including mm-hmm. the clothing and everything. And about 10 years ago, that section didn't even exist at the SHOT Show. And now it makes up uh, somewhere between a third and one quarter of the show. So, uh, you know, we see uh, all the synthetic stock guns and all of the cool uh, night the night vision gear and the, the uh, cool stuff. Yeah, exactly. The techie stuff. That's yeah. uh, right here in the Crimson Trace booth. I yeah, mean, that's a, re- of, that's yeah. a reflection of, uh, of some of the cool stuff. That's out right. There. I mean, the guys who make lasers and everything else. By the way, I haven't mentioned uh, one of the really cool products here uh, was Kimber, known for not making 1911s and bolt action rifles, brings out a revolver. It sort of reminded me of Benelli, you know, known for the semi-automatic shotguns right. in their line, coming out with an over-under shotgun last year. Right. So it's a, you know, going against type, I guess, it uh, yeah. helps create a little bit of buzz about your company. And in both those cases, real high-quality products. Oh, absolutely. You yeah. know, that that yeah. over-and-under from Benelli is, is pretty cool. And I, I got to shoot the Kimber revolver called the K6S, which Kimber six-shot stainless, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, a six-shot 357. Which, the grips on that are made by Crimson Trace. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. See, you're having more fun than I am because I, <laughs> this is my actually first time out on the show floor. Um, my job here is to handle the 2,500 members of the media who attend uh, SHOT Show, and that, that keeps me pretty busy as well as a lot of other folks from NSSF who work in the press room. Right. I mean, 2,500 members of the media? And we have to cut it off about uh, five or six weeks before the show starts because there's such demand for those those media passes. You know, we have a, a great enthusiast press uh, out here. Right. You know, and it's somewhat segmented, you know, press that writes about hunting, press that writes about target shooting, personal and home defense, law enforcement. Right. So there's a lot of different categories of media to take care of. And then you got Donald Trump coming in today. Uh, he's he's in town. He's sort of like Elvis, you know. He's, <laughs> he hasn't left the building yet. So, uh, but uh, the rumor is he's here. But uh, the rumor also was the Secret Service wouldn't let him on the show floor, which is a little odd since I know there's a lot of guns down here, but none of them have firing. I was just pits. gonna say they've all been deactivated. That's right. They really do. Have. I actually got a chance to talk with some of the guys who work on that side of things, and they're the technical people. Uh, a lot of times from police department, crime areas, firearms technicians who come in and check all the guns and make sure they're safe. That's right. Those are the show safety advisors, and uh, it's quite a task, really. There's yeah. about 13,000 firearms on display here, and uh, every one is checked. Yeah, exactly right. So, got to ask you, you had this full-page ad in the Washington Post this week answering President Obama. What did you say in there? Well, it's unfortunate the president used, you know, two public forums to really demonize the industry. And so we felt the American people needed a response to that. And we simply pointed out that we are a responsible, regulated industry that engages in lawful commerce. And uh, so we point out the things that we do to help uh, uh, gun owners safely store uh, our products and securely store our products, such as our Project Child Safe program. How how many locks have been given away? 37 million gun locks over the past 15 years. The firearms industry, firearms makers have, have done that. Okay, hold on to that thought just a second. got to take a quick break here. I want to talk about Project Child Safe, Don't Lie for the Other Guy, the Fix Nicks. These are the things that the gun business has been doing to make guns safer, to help people be safer for all of that. It, it, it's just it's a message that needs to get out there. We're going to be talking about that. And also, frankly, about this election. There's just a lot of things coming up here. We're talking with Bill Prasard. The National Shooting Sports Foundation. To find out more, of course, about what NSSF is up to, nssf.org will get you all that information. All right, I'm Tom Gresham. I'm at the Shot Show at the Crimson Trace booth. Hello, Tommy. How you doing, partner? I will be right back.
All right, we are round and third and headed to home here at the Shot Show. Talking with Bill Broussard, my good buddy from the National Shooting Sports Foundation. We were talking about your letter in the Washington Post. You're basically explaining President Obama is demonizing the gun business, and they all say, well, you guys just don't care. And we're all kind of scratching our heads and going, well, wait, we're the ones that gave away how many gun locks? Yeah, we're out in front. We're, we've given away 37 million gun locks through our Project Child Safe program. We will provide gun locks and safety materials to any community that asks for it. Through, through the, the police department. Through the police department. Any police department uh, who wants those materials could go to projectchildsafe.org and uh, fill out the form. And not just once, but if they need to be replenished, we'll do that as well. So right. what's Fix Nix? Fix Nix is the effort by the industry predating the, the, the president's suggestion right. that we fix the background check system. We've, We've been, been working doing, on that for years. For a couple of years now, and that's to encourage states that were not adding uh, records that would prohibit uh, certain individuals, including mental health uh, uh, patients, uh, from uh, acquiring firearms. Um, so they would call, you know, be flagged by the background so this check is system. Money being spent by gun makers and the industry to fix the background check system. That's right. All right. Then you move on to the don't lie for the other guy. Once again, gun makers spending money to make sure that gun stores don't uh, allow these straw purchases and how to recognize it. Actually, it's a training program. It is very much a training program. In uh, dealt with in cooperation with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. So you're working with ATF. ATF bit. tells us actually where to go with that program, and uh, we educate retailers on how to spot potential straw purchasers. But at the same time, we do a public education program with billboard advertising and you know other types of public advertising, warning the public that if they engage in a straw purchase, that they could be facing 10 years in jails or up to a $250,000 fine. So, you know, we don't want the uh, the girlfriend buying a gun for the boyfriend who's prohibited. Right. So. It's got to be somewhere between disappointing and infuriating to hear the president blaming the gun, the firearms industry for all this stuff when you're thinking, but we're the ones who are actually doing something about gun safety. Yeah, and it, and it, uh, it works. All the things that we're doing work. And, you know, because uh, gun sales have never been higher, uh, gun ownership is high, and yet firearms accidents are down, crime is down. Murders so, are down. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So, so more guns do not equal more crime and more accidents. No, they really don't. So going from here, uh, I'm, I'm, and I know you guys can't really get political, but you're hearing Hillary Clinton talk about we've got to repeal this Protection of Lawful Commerce and Firearms Act. The Because... The idea, for those who don't know, the lawsuits were not designed to make anything safer. The lawsuits were to drive gun companies out of business. Yeah, very much so, by trying to hold them uh, uh, liable for the criminal misuse of firearms. By a third party. By a third party, that's right. So, uh, But it it took us about uh, six years after the first municipal lawsuit was filed by New Orleans in uh, 1998, and... uh, to get Congress to pass in 2005 the Lawful Commerce and Arms Act to protect manufacturers from these nuisance uh, lawsuits. So, uh, you know, nobody would ever question that Ford was uh, uh, liable for a criminal that mis- uh, misused the yeah, car or, to crime. Or for a drunk driver, you know, it just right. makes no sense at all. Right. It's going to be so, a very important year as it, far as getting out the vote. It is. And uh, NSSF can help uh, voters determine the candidates that best represent their views on protecting gun ownership rights as well as hunting rights uh, by through its gun vote program. So if you go to NSSF.org and look at our gun vote page, right. we, we can help you evaluate the candidates that are running for office in your district. And we're going to be talking a lot about that this entire year. It's going to be getting out the vote, making sure you're registered, making sure you vote, uh, volunteering, getting involved, standing up, because we have to do it this year. That's right. Yep. It's got to, we've got to take care of business as best we can. There you go. Bill, thank you so much. The SHOT Show is great. It's a huge success this year. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for doing this show. It's terrific. This is always fun. All right, everybody, here's the deal. Go out, find somebody who doesn't shoot, invite them to go to the range with you. Take a friend out there. It is so much fun. You will be doing something good for all of gun ownership. Be safe out there.